Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Koo Alibi Semi-Frameless Cycling Sunglasses. Koo has designed the Alibi collection of sunglasses to combine the sleekness of smaller cycling sunglasses with modern performance and aesthetics. As a result, the Koo Alibi have a semi-frameless design with oversized ventilated lens that still it looks compact for any cycling discipline. Packaging wise, you can see very simply, you have a cardboard box with this bright white and blue color scheme. Koo written largely on one side. Your eyes are vision written on the top, which is kind of a cool catchphrase. And then a slide out design. You can see the frame version we have here. And I'll go ahead and open this up and go over the specs. The retail price on this ranges from $190 for the standard lenses, all the way up to $235 for the photochromic one, which is what we have here. These have a semi-frameless design. So that means you have no frame on the bottom of the frame. And then you also have a ventilated Zeiss lens. So you get great optics. You also have soft touch nose pads. So very easy to adjust. And then they're comfortable as well. You have a grillamide frame, which means it's lightweight, yet very durable. And you also have the rounded temple arm. So you can actually see from the top, they bend inward and they feel very secure. So even if you do a mountain biking or gravel riding, they'll stay in place. In terms of what comes with it, obviously you get the sunglasses, you get the branded fabric carrying back. There is no hard carrying case, which is a little bit unusual at this price. You have the little booklet here that shows you how to remove the nose pads and change the lenses. There are little frame instruction manual here in multiple languages. And then you have this little tiny box on the inside, which is almost easy to miss, which has a replacement pair of the nose pads. So you can swap in these individual pieces for this combined one. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. So the sunglasses with the photochromic lens comes in at only 24, so very lightweight. The Koo Alibi sunglasses are an attractive, oversized cycling sunglasses with restrained styling and modern optics. Visually, the lenses have a beveled edge, so you can see on the top. And then the bottom, they have these nice sharp corners, which give them a sporty look, but surprisingly don't look that oversized. The lens is oversized, though. You can see the gap between the top of the nose pad and the top of the frame. But visually, it does look smaller because it's kind of curved out at the edges. Crew offers these sunglasses in eight different lens and matte frame color options, from the subtle black and gold colors to the more bright options like this matte white, with the Fuchsia Photochromic variation that we have here. So you can see when the light hits it, it actually looks almost pinkish and has a mirrored effect. In bright sunlight, this will actually darken up quite a bit as well as it's photochromic. But here you can see it's fairly transparent, which is a really cool feature of photochromic lenses. You can see this is semi-frameless, so that means you just have the frame along the top. And then you can see there is a nose bridge connecting the nose pads to the top of the frame. It has a grillamide construction, so you can see very lightweight, and you also have the removable lens design, so that it actually just pops out, and then you can pop it back into place. Branding is just limited to coup printed on the side, and then on the front of the lens itself. You can also see the nose pad has an interesting three-piece design, so you can see it actually connects with these little tabs rather than having a full lip around it. It gives it a little bit of a unique appearance. You can see as far as the frame, it is grillamide again, so very lightweight and flexible. And you can see you can easily flex this without having to worry about anything. They're also relatively small, so you can see the width on this is a little bit small, but they do fit like larger sunglasses, but they just hug your face a little bit more. You can see with the temple arms, it's a straight arm design that bends downward slightly. And if you look from the top, it actually bends inward. So it gives you a very secure feel. There is no ear sock here, like you'd see with traditional sunglasses. There's no rubber coating or anything. Instead, you just have these little lines cut into it. And you can see it gets very thin at the edges. So again, very flexible. It's not an auto locking design, but you can see it does sort of lock into place. So once you get to pass that 45 point, then it'll lock in. So it makes it nice and secure. And if you're going a lot of bumps, they will hold their position rather than snapping closed. Here you can again see from the inside, so very lightweight and flexible, which is nice to see. As far as the nose pads, you can see very simple designs, just a little rubber pad over the hook. And they do provide the optional replacement, so you can try both to find the one that works for you. 
They're very malleable, but they're not really a movable design. So just the rubber itself is malleable. So pretty slick. And you can see the nose bridge on the inside and the vents on the top. As far as lenses, this does have an interchangeable lens design again. So you just pull out the corners with the tabs. Then you can pull off the tabs along the nose pad. So you'll definitely get a lot of fingerprints on here as you try to pull them out. So you want to just pressure this slightly inward and then you can see it'll come off. So same thing here, I just push it inward, not too much. You don't want to break the lens itself. Again, we'll get the right side. And then once that's off, you can just pull the lens downward and off. So you can see a pretty big lens, but again, it looks small because it's tapered at the corners. Here you can see the frame without anything attached to it. So very lightweight and flexible, which is great to see. And you can see it's all one color, which is simple black nose pads. This is the photochromic variation again. So this will actually adjust to the environment. Right now it's pretty transparent, but it goes all the way up from a cat one to a cat three with 12% to 75% visible light transmission. I highly recommend going photochromic. It's not that much more expensive. And that means you don't have to buy additional lenses, which costs more than just switching to a photochromic. Putting them back on is really simple as well. Just line it up and then you have to get the tabs in. The hardest part is just getting the nose pad in there. So again, you just want to flex these inward and then over the lens. And then obviously you're gonna to have to clean the lens to get rid of all the fingerprints. Here you can see a nice 360 view of the sunglasses. As you can see, they have a more narrow design, so they hug your face pretty closely, but they're still really comfortable. And even though they are oversized, they don't feel like they're overdone as they sort of taper at the edges. So pretty attractive overall. Really like the matte white finish with the photochromic lens, which has a nice mirror effect. So it looks great, especially in the lighter conditions. It gets dark, so it looks really good. You can also see a very sleek styling. It's not really overdone like a lot of sunglasses on the market. It still is unique, so you can identify it as a Koo branded pair of sunglasses. Here you can see some riding footage with it. Overall, really impressed with it. They're really comfortable and lightweight, so I don't feel them on your face. And with the photochromic lens, it's one of my favorite. It's a great way to ride in a lot of mixed conditions. Not have to worry about switching out sunglasses or having to get too dark on you. So it really adjusts quickly with nice clarity. Also, the nose pads and temple arms work well. They really hug your face without being overly restrictive. So we found them to be really comfortable. And even after multi-hour rides, forgot they're even on as you have a nice wide field of view. Now let's compare the Alibi with other sunglasses on the market. We've actually reviewed the Koo demos before and you can see very similar design with the sharp corners and the tapered lens. You can really get a sense of the sizing though. If we put these side by side, you can see that the Alibi is actually a little bit more narrow. So if you look at them from the top down, you can see the Alibi actually fits inside the demo. So it's a slightly more narrow, still fits normal size faces, but you can see everything is just a little bit smaller with a more pronounced curvature of the temple arms. You can see the temple arms on the demo actually have the rubber coating while the lighter weight Alibi just has the little gradation on the plastic itself. We also have the Bole Chrono Shield here, which is almost a goggle turned into a cycling sunglasses. It's actually part of their Retro Revival, which was actually originally meant for skiing. But you can see much bigger, and again, you can almost put the Alibi inside the other pair of sunglasses. Half Frame is also really popular in the market. So here we have the density from Julbo. So you can see bigger lens, so you can see that the lens itself, they're both oversized, but this one just feels bigger because it's more pronounced where this one just kind of curves off. This is even lighter weight too. So you can see super lightweight with this nice flexible temple arms. But again, the Alibi actually fits inside the other one. So it is a little bit smaller. There also is the Shimano S-Fire, which has this cool magnetic lens design. So you can see the lenses are actually just attached with the magnet. So it's much easier to swap lenses versus this more traditional hook design. So if you do that a lot, I'd recommend going for something with a magnetic design as you can easily do that. These also look really cool with this actually metallic finish. So really nice Shimano design and the little metal flakes inside here that really shine during the, when the sunlight hits it. 
You can also go full frame length. So with this, it's just a big lens with a temple arm attached. Here we have the Oakley Kato and it has a little beak rather than a cutout. So much more futuristic design. And you can see it's just all lens. It's definitely a lot more polarizing. So you don't wanna really wear this around town or in the office while the Koo you could actually wear with a lot of different disciplines. We also have the Smith Pivlock. So you can see, again, it's frameless. So you just have the nose pad attached directly to the lens. And then no frame anywhere. So it's really nice. You don't see anything blocking your vision. And you can see similar color scheme, but again, the Alibi is a little bit smaller and more tapered inward. What's nice about the Piv Lock is they've actually made the lens change really easily. So it pivots and it has this little rod that locks into place. So you can easily just pop off the temple arms, swap the lens, but because this is frameless, you're simply replacing the temple arms and everything else you have to get with the other lens itself. So they have a different design, but you can see more sporty and bigger Nice thing about the Alibi again, everything's just a little bit smaller. Now let's go to the pros and cons of the Koo Alibi. What we like about it is it has a semi-frameless design, which means you have a nice wide field of view with no frame on the bottom to obstruct it. You also have photochromic lens option, which adjusts the environment really quickly, so you can wear it in mixed weather without the need for different lenses or swapping them in and out. They also have a simple and restrained styling, which means you can wear them on or off the bike without an issue. The main negative with these sunglasses is the fact there is no hard case, which is a little bit weird, especially at this price point. Taking everything into account would give the sunglasses a 9.0 out of 10. These are sleek and lightweight semi-friendly sunglasses that are great on or off the bike. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.